Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna walk you guys through this super cool mask effect that you can use for transitioning between clips. And I'm gonna walk you guys through it step by step with me from scratch so you can really see the process. If this video ends up helping you, consider subscribing. I try and post every week. Appreciate you guys' support. So I have these four clips that I cut accordingly. I don't have them cut according to music at all. So what we're gonna need to do is highlight all these clips right click and go to replace with After Effects composition. So we're gonna focus on these first two clips, these two guys right here. I'm gonna click on this clip here, duplicate it, right click, we're gonna go to time, freeze frame. Then I'm gonna stretch this out, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do six frames. You can do as many frames as you want. Uh, the more you have, the more wiggle room you'll have. So now if we scroll over this, we see it's just this freeze frame. Now on this freeze frame clip, we're gonna create a mask using the pen tool here. So go ahead and mask around your subject. What I'm doing is left clicking, holding, and then moving my mouse accordingly. I'm not gonna make it perfect. I'm just trying to show you guys how this works. Going around the subject here. So now we have the mask. So what we're gonna wanna do is, I like to feather my mask a little bit to smooth out the harsh edges of the mask. Now, we're gonna wanna select this option right here, which is 3D layer, so we're gonna click that. I've noticed that when you click this button, sometimes you have to close and then open back up the clip for this transform to show up. So here, we're gonna focus on the scale and the opacity. So what I'm actually gonna do is increase the scale of this to say right here, so it covers at least, you know, like three fourths of the frame. You could go all the way out if you wanted. Shout out this girl for being the test subject of this video. So once I have my scale position set, which again, I just changed by moving this slider right here. I'm gonna keyframe it here, come just to the end of the clip. I'm gonna bring it back down to 100. Just go ahead and take that, that keyframe and bring it all the way to the end of the clip here. So now it zooms in. Go ahead and easy ease these keyframes, highlight them, right click, and then easy ease. So it's just a little smoother when it comes in. So it looks a little harsh right now, so we're gonna make it look way better. So I'm actually gonna turn down the opacity to zero at the beginning of the freeze frame here. Keyframe it, and I'm gonna go about maybe like three frames in. We're gonna bring it back to 100. So now it'll kinda gradually show up. We can also easy ease these as well. You see it's already coming together pretty nicely here. You can also turn on motion blur by clicking this box right here. So now it kind of has that motion blur effect when it comes in. So now you already have this transition uh, into the next clip. So it's almost a way of like taking a subject, making it the focus of the transition, and then as the transition happens, you know, brings the whole scene into the next clip. I've also done a trick where you can go back to your mask and this expansion right here, you can even uh, keyframe the expansion. So let's go right here and then expand it up to like 1000. Might take a second for your computer to render that. So you can see now it expands it, kind of keyframes the expansion. So I'm gonna bring this to the end as well. Easy ease these. So now it, once that's done rendering, if we go frame by frame here, you can kind of see it helps blend that background in as the next clip comes in. So that can just kind of help blend the clip from one to another so that way it's just maybe not so jarring when it's just, you know, a subject and then it just cuts straight to the scene that the subject's in. I kind of like the zoom effect so I want to follow that effect so I'm actually going to go to this clip here and I'm going to keyframe the scale as well. I'm going to keyframe it here, go to about right here, we'll do like 120. And then I think I actually want to reset it back to 100 so it kind of has like a little zoom out at the end and i'm just going to right click all these easy ease them as well we're actually going to turn on motion blur here as well it's just cool that it kind of follows that transition so again i'll show you guys how you can do it for this one too we're going to duplicate it Control d for windows time freeze frame bring it out like like six frames maybe we'll do seven this time again we're just going to come to this clip make sure our pen tool is selected and we're going to create a mask here again here for the mask i'm just going to go into the feather clean it up a little bit go to the transform we are going to zoom the subject quite a bit here and i'm actually going to change the position as well Move this here because it's kind of got this nice like u shape and her face is still in the middle so i'm going to keyframe both the position and scale we're going to bring back the position to 1920 by 1080 because that is the default position we scale back to 100 drag both these out to the end and then i'm also going to do the opacity keyframe that go maybe like two frames actually i'm going to do like four frames this time around go back to 100 and so now we're going to easy ease all of these guys turn on motion blur and we'll see how that looks with that position keyframe it kind of 
brings the camera down to the left almost. So I kind of like that. That looks pretty cool. So again, I don't think I've mentioned this, but if you pay attention to the video, you'll notice it. This clip that I'm using here. So the one that's on the right, I always put on top. I find it easier to have the clip that we're using with the mask on top. Just makes it easier in my book. I'm going to use him as the subject. So we're going to duplicate it. Time, freeze frame. Do like quite a bit of frames here. Now I'm going to mask out my subject. If you want to zoom in, you know, you can just use your scroll wheel. And if for some reason you're messing up like I am, just press Control Z. If you need to move this around, you can also just click this hand and that moves your canvas around a little bit for you. I'm going to go into the masks again, feather it a little bit, enable the cube, Let's scale this guy up quite a bit, bring him up a little bit. I'm going to kind of follow the shape of how this mask looks, so I'm going to move him to the left actually here. And again, we're going to keyframe this, so position and scale. Bring us back here, back to 1920 by 1080, because that is the default value. Scale back to 100. Don't forget to bring those keyframes all the way to the end of the clip. So I'll bring the opacity down to zero at the beginning of the clip, keyframe it. Go about like four frames in, four or five, back to 100. Easy ease all these guys. Turn on motion blur. So once we're done doing that in After Effects, back to Premiere Pro here. It'll have our sequence saved in Premiere Pro. I hope this video helped. This is an effect I use all the time. I think it looks great, especially in constant recap videos. I hope the video was easy to understand. I'm just kind of getting over a cold, so sorry if I sound, you know, a little off. You know, I just want to stay productive. I gotta look like more happy in these videos. I feel like I'm never smiling or something. Thank you guys so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you want to see more. I try and post every week. I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya. Scaling, he got shorted cause my digi jumps. Sick they see me ballin', tryna double team and rip me up. Sick they see me ballin'.